Hey everybody, Scott Kelby here, and I want to show you a tutorial, and it's just a little finishing move from something that I did earlier. So the image that you see here was originally a very flat, very boring kind of regular image. Uh, over at LightroomKillerTips.com, I showed how to get to here. So I did a, a out of the camera to this part as far as I went here. But when I was at the photography show in the UK just a couple of weeks ago, in a question and answer session, somebody asked, how do you get that look, you know, that kind of dark, mysterious look and all. And so I'm gonna show you that little trick. So if you wanna see first, just to clarify, if you wanna see how I got to the image that you see on screen here, this image right here, go to lightroomkillertips.com and you can look for From Flat to Fabulous. And that's the name of the tutorial. Here, I'm picking up with the image that we finished off there. And I'm going to show you this little last finishing move that for things like cathedrals and, you know, opera houses and things like that, it really looks, uh, really works nicely. You'll decide whether it looks okay or not. Here's what you do. Simply go to the layers palette and duplicate the background layer. You're going to change the layer blend mode from normal to multiply, which makes everything really dark, but it also makes it very warm and very nice. Now what you're going to do is this. It's too dark overall, right? So you're going to click on the layer mask icon right here at the bottom of the layers panel. It's the third icon over. You're going to click on that. And now what you're going to do is grab a brush tool. Make sure your brush is black. Grab a nice big brush. And then you're going to look at important things in the picture and click once. So I'm going to make a nice big brush and click once. And when you do that, it kind of cuts a hole out of the top layer and let's see other stuff through. So you're just gonna click in a few places. You're not gonna click everywhere. You're just gonna click here and there as little, little beams of light kinda fell into your image. So just pick, you know, strategic spots where you want light to show up and that's basically the little finishing move. I just kinda add a few things here and there and we're done. And so take a look at the difference from here to there. So, and again, you can, if you think, well, it's still a little too dark, you could add a few more clicks wherever you want, but it's, you're doing it absolutely to taste. So you just do it as much or a little as you want, but there's a little bit more aggressive version, but it still has a very interesting look with some depth. Anyway, hope you guys like that. And of course, as always, we would love to see you uh, this summer at Photoshop World Conference. Uh, go to photoshopworld.com for all the details there. And of course, if you dig Photoshop and Lightroom stuff, I would love it if you would come and see us at kelbyone.com. Take the 10-day free trial. You can watch as many classes as you want right now for 10 days. Like there's 600 classes. There's 10,000 lessons. It'll probably keep you busy for a good 10 days or so. Anyway, thanks everybody and have a wonderful weekend and we'll catch you on Monday.